when the shooting happened, right, with Diddy and Sean, you was at the club that night, right? Yo, the nigga said Fat Joe is the Forrest Gump of hip hop. I'm the Fat Joe. I'm I'm the I'm the Forrest Gump of this shit too. <laughs> like Fat Joe, I'm sure he got a lot of stories, but yo, yes, I was there the fucking night, Club New York, two days after Christmas, 45th Street, Manhattan, Times Square. Everybody's outside, fur coats, Benzes. Baddest bitches, richest niggas, ball players, gangsters, rappers, all in one spot. The song of the night was Jay Z and Beanie Siegel. 5 a.m. on the way to the club. Yo, the DJ played that. I don't know who the DJ was. Matter of fact, I think the DJ was Grandmaster Flash. They played that record, and I'm going to tell you what's crazy. I'm in a club, right? Let me tell you before I even got in a the club. There's a mad line outside the club, and I'm with my man Chocolate Jarrett. He's a drummer. He, he, he plays the drums and all of Laurel Hill videos and all that, Nerdy by Nature videos. I'm with him. Jump out the Range Rover. I'm like, damn, how the fuck am I even getting this? This shit is so crowded. I jump on people's shoulders. I swam. I, 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 I was swimming on niggas' backs to get in the club, nigga, and fell over inside the rope. <laughs> Type shit. Like, so I get inside the club. Pat. I see J Lo with a security guard walking to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, this shit lit. J Lo in the club. This shit lit. I see Puffy on them niggas over there. Him and Shaw, them niggas are standing on the, on the couches. My wet bottles, doing it. I think them niggas got... Them niggas look like they was in the movie um, Paid in Full. Because I think, I think their faces was painted... A, they had the whole outfit on, the Paid in Full. Them niggas was like they was in a Paid in Full movie. Like when them niggas robbed the bank, they had the, the faces, the peacoats and shit like that, right? Dead presidents. Dead president. I think that's how Puff was dressed. Cause I think Sean had the 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 he had the uh the, the snorkel. So anyway, well I'm in the club. I said, oh shit, <laughs> J Lo's in the club. I'm like, oh shit, this shit is popping. This shit is crap. Right after Christmas, everybody got their toys. Everybody got the gifts. Everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm with. I see Black Rob. Black Rob, Br, my nigga. Rest in peace to Black Rob, son. Word of my mother. I see Black Rob. When I see Black Rob, we got us. We got smoke. That we smoke. We smoking that Poudre, we smoking that Piff. Every time I, yo, what up, Sean, what up? Yo, BR, what up? That's my nigga. Black Rob is street nigga. That we, that's my nigga. You know what I mean? See Black Rob and we start blowing it down in the club. Security tap on a nigga, Black Rob shoulder. Yo, y'all can't smoke over here. Black Rob like, yo, tell us shit. He's like, yo, just y'all niggas just go over there right there by the, by over there. So security's like, yo, go, y'all go over there and smoke. So we over there. Where he told us to go was like the exit, like in the cut. Like we was in the cut, smoking. So we chilling. Yo, what up, my nigga? Ain't shit, man. Happy New Year's, man. Christmas and all that. All you hear? Bow, bow, bow. Next thing I know, me and this nigga on the floor looking at each other. We like, oh shit. We, we like, yo, cause you know, after one shot, you like this, but then you hear more shot. That's when you fall. Cause uh, you know, you hear one shot, you're not gonna drop to the floor. But we heard. We on the floor now. We like, oh sh. We like this. We don't know what's going on. Who shot what? I ain't seen nothing. All I, all I heard it, and it was not far from where we was at. You could tell the gunshots was close because you, 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 you just, you just felt it like you, the heat. We wasn't on the other side of the club. Like wherever they were shooting at, we was close to that. Sh we wild a motherfucking exit. We, we, we open the door. We the first niggas out the club. Me and Black Rob is the first niggas out the club because we sitting, we by the exit. We come out the exit, the club, when we go to exit, we're, now we're inside of a hotel. We're in a hotel lobby. Like the, the, the club is connected to a hotel lobby. So now we in a hotel lobby, like what the, when we come out, cops got their guns like this. We're like, yo, what ain't? They point their guns at me and Black Rob. We come out the door like, yo, it ain't us. We slide off, boom. We running down the street. Black Rob like, yo, I think that's my peoples, man. He stopped running and we stopped running. 
So we, we walk back to the club. By the time we walk back to the club, Shana's already coming out in handcuffs. I'm like, oh, sh that's crazy. Like, I didn't see all the cars pulling off and all that. I, I was in the club and I seen that sh I was with Black Rob. You can't write this sh This This really happened. This is like a movie, my nigga. This is, and, you know, you look back at it, it's like, because, you know, Black Rob ain't here no more. And, you know, those memories, man, will just always be with me. You know, those memories, just those hip hop stories, you know, being in those places like that, you know, that, that was ill. And then, you know, and look at Shad, he turned his life around and <laughs> I can't speak for what's going on with Diddy, but, you know, this is part, this whole hip hop shit is a movie, man, you know, and I'm part of the movie. I'm a villain in this motherfucker. I'm a villain in the movie. I'm a good guy, but I'm also the villain, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I heard they did shine dirty, man. I heard that he wasn't even the one that shot the gun, man. Yeah, yeah, you know that was that was definitely there that night. And yo, it's wild. New York is wild, man. New York is wild. You're right, you're right. What you think about what's going on with Diddy right now? Oh man, it's like the shit going on with Diddy, man. It's so much shit going on. It's like what. Like, where do you start? Like, where do you, I mean, where do you really start? And when somebody just Googles him, and if you just put tragedy, Diddy in the same Google search, I, I just, it, it's just so many pages that'll pop up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for real, like, I'm not, you know, and I just saw Diddy at the, uh, Leo Cohen's uh, gala. There was a fundraiser for cancer for City of Hope, and I saw I saw Puff Daddy. I saw Diddy, and um, when I saw him, he said, "What's up?" But I felt like his energy was like was like he was going through something. Like he was like there, but not there. And this is before all the allegations and shit came out. This is before that, so maybe he was he knew something, or he was preparing himself, or I don't know. But until we know the facts of what's really happening, you know, it's all speculation. You know what I'm saying? But if you put tragedy next to Diddy's name, it's just a coincidence, a lot of coincidences, and I don't know why. You know, I don't know why. That's something you got to ask the higher, the man up above. He knows. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Is it just that much bad luck? I don't know. But that much good luck too. Because as much as bad shit around them, it's, it's probably more good shit, right? The money, the cars, the people he's affected in his life who went on to become bigger and, you know, he put a lot of people on. And not everybody was on the dark side of the curse. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody was on the dark side. A lot of the acts that were on Bad Boy, it's kind of crazy, man. It's 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 kind of like sounding like a like a like a vampire movie, like like the nigga who run like the nigga who owns the label is like Dracula. Or some this shit is crazy, my nigga. Really? No, nah, this shit is this is crazy. <laughs> this is this is crazy. You know, like I said, it's a lot of allegations and a lot, a lot of times, I will say this. When I was 16, somebody lied and said I did something that I didn't do. And I went to jail for it. And I was found not guilty because I had proof that I didn't do it. But I got arrested for it, and there was an allegation that I did something that I didn't do. I had to prove myself that I didn't do it. Now, what if I didn't have the proof? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, with that being said is, we got to know the facts. You can't believe what somebody say until you have the full facts. So all these allegations are just allegations until you get the full facts. 
But I will say this. If you put tragedy and Puff Daddy in your Google search, you're going to find a lot of coincidences. And that's just that. I, I, I go off facts. I don't go off nothing else but what I can Google and be factual. I'm not here to, you know, do that or be play games with niggas and be funny. Ha, ha, ha. There's a lot of jokes. I can, you know, we can do that. We can go that direction. But I know that nigga. And I ain't, I ain't never been on that type of time with that nigga. So I, I wouldn't do that right now.